Why do you have this insatiable urge because to get she in there? Get it out of the bowl. No, get the light. She'll yank it out. Well, I don't. All right, do whatever you think. All right, go ahead. Do whatever you want to do. Jerry, he never wants to help the poor snake out. Well. Here, you gotta slide this lid down. Okay, we gotta slide it down for light. Have you been taking it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give the video to your hair. Oh, jeez. Give me this. You know, when you and I go tinkle, it's tinkle, it's like liquid, you know? And when they go tinkle, it looks like scrambled eggs. It's yellow, but it's solid, like scrambled eggs. It looks just like scrambled eggs. And then when they go, when they go, you know, number two and have a bowel movement, it just looks like, you know, a regular bowel movement. But that's why I always joke, it looks like scrambled eggs and sausage. <laughs> we can have a full meal. We, we have lemonade, they have, um, they have scrambled eggs. <laughs> really? <laughs> Tie your shoe. You're gonna trip and kill yourself. No, my shoe is tight. You should. I. I. I was like against. I have to put it on my shoe. I'm going to. Oh, really? Slow. Oh, you should see. I remember one time. Um, oh, when they last. Takes a while. One time, like last, like suck on its head or what? No, it just uh She's eats it. Around. Yeah. She's trying to squish it down. Yeah. Oh. She squishes it down with the very uh, front of her lip or what? Yeah, she just pulls it. Well, you'll, yeah, just just watch. You'll see what. Yeah. Scary family and my family. Who's getting married? Those are my Several classics on the now and This one is my older brother's wedding. That's my older brother Mike. That's his wife Doreen. That's my mom and my dad Jerry. And there's Katie and Maggie, Patrick and Carrie. And Katie and Maggie, they're going to be out here in three weeks. And then this is Gary. Do you, do you always watch it with the Yeah, I never filmed it though. If he wants to come over, tell him come on over. Yeah, if you want to come over, just come on over. Should have talked to him on the phone, right? Well, you, you get my mom though, huh? Yeah, she stopped over wondering where you guys were, what you know, what the deal was one time. Yeah. Well, we had the eggs. Yeah. What, what? See how, see how she's got the head down in there and her throat's getting real big because the head's down inside of there? Yeah. Now, can you imagine that in that mouth she's going to get that big body? She, you know how her, you know how her jaw, her lower jaw is like a rubber band. She, it's not like ours where it's hard like this. She can stretch it, stretch it way out to eat something real big. How the fuck can it? Not stretch it up. Probably about that big, yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. First door on the right down there. Nothing's better there. No, okay. The lights. Where the light is on the left. Right there. Okay. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, has she grown any yet? Uh, well, she grows a little bit all the time. That's why she sheds. When she grow, when she's grown as much as she can in her skin that she has right now. Then she sheds her skin so she can grow more. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. she's too big for her skin. Right, exactly. I've learned about the shedding of her skin. She still has to shed a little, doesn't she? What's that? Doesn't she still have to shed a little more? Yeah, it's not all right. See on her back, it's not all off. But what we should do, the doctor said, we should put her in a ba in a bathtub with like just lukewarm water and set her down in there, and then you can kind of just very carefully, you can kind of pull the other skin off a little bit. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Just, just lukewarm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, it won't hurt her when you pull off the skin. Oh no, no, no. You just got to go real careful. Cause see, where that snake is from, it's real humid. You know, yeah. and here it's real dry, so it's tough for her to. It just back to it. Right. Trying to get inside of there a little bit. Where's she from? 
Uh, over by Burma, India, Vietnam. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do we know where you over there to get it? Or? No, no. It's just that, that that's where they they live out outside. But they raise them in this country and sell them in pet shops. You know, for like seventy dollars for a little baby. Do you think you're gonna get her back? Give uh, up? Uh, eventually, yeah. There's a fellow that breeds them, and he's got a bunch of other snakes that he could mate and then make uh, you know other baby snakes from this one because this one's a real light colored, real light colored. So it so the babies would be real light colored. A lot of them, um, honey, are, are dark brown. Like, see the color where her skin is that hasn't come off? Mm -hmm. That's like a color and even darker of a lot of them. So since she's such a light version, there's really some people who would like See how her jaw's starting to really stretch? Oh, God, is that the pink thing, her jaw? Yeah, that's the she's bottom. She's really stretching it out. She already ate the head, huh? Oh, yeah, the head's down at the throat. Why don't you why don't you call him back up and and then and then I'll well hang on a second here and then I'll talk to your dad. Well, I could talk to her dad and then mention that you know that if he wants to cruise by, heck, we're just sitting here uh, having yeah, a. You haven't met him, huh? No. Tell me what. I can hold it up for you, whatever. I'll just kind of. Oh, that's cool. And then all yours. What the, what what what's your dad's name? Hugo. Hugo. Okay. Yeah, Going over here. No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. he doesn't know the phone number. Oh, you guys should take the phone number of our place. 749 what? 749 what? 9148. 9148. It's just, it's just backwards, except, it's just backwards of ours, the ending, but except we don't have the it, we have a what? Oh, yeah, what's your number? 749 Jaime, you want to look inside? You can see inside of here? See yeah. what I'm, can you see what it looks like? That, that, that's actually like a little TV in there. Yeah, I yeah, you can look. Oh, you want to look just with your eye? That's cool. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, see, I just kind of look like this with both. Oh, jeez. Get away from me. Oh, wow, oh, she's going to be inside. Yeah, or something. How's it what it looks like? No, why she do that? Oh, she has, to, she has to try to crunch it down a little bit because it's too big around. The ribs. You know what I mean? Like if something's too big for your mouth, then you gotta kind of, you gotta, 37? 36, I'll, I'll be 37 in August. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Well, because I was born in 51. Well, I, I forget, I was born in 51. Like, well, once you get once you get out of high school, it's all the same. It seems like it's a big deal, you know, when you're. She's really going for it. Yeah, she does. 
And when the snake's eating something real, real, real big that she's really got to stretch, her, where she breathes, she actually sticks that out of her mouth. And you can see this pipe sticking out of her mouth, and that's how she's breathing while she's eating something real big. You know what I mean? You'll have to watch. You, you, you might see that. Is it cool? Is yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I've seen, I've just seen it once. One time a girl. Is that the cool guy? It's George Michael. Yeah. He is so cute. Oh, forget about him. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's ugly. Oh, come I, on. I don't like his earring. That's what I don't like. He, my dad has an earring, but a little one, not a giant. Big thing. It's just because he's a rock and roll star and that he's flamboyant. That's all that is. Bourgeois decadence. Taking on those rock, those rock groups only put on the show. They only put on the show up. Those guys aren't like that in day-to-day -day life. Are they are? It's just for the show? Sure. Like Iron Maiden. Are in, Oh yeah, Iron Maiden. Yeah, it would be crazy if you had lived they're regular. Like that, yeah, they're just yeah. regular businessmen. They're real good businessmen, yeah. and they're, they're millionaires. They're yeah, I bet. Yeah. No, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Look at how, look at how her mouth. You know what I mean? How big that has to get. Everything, everything. Look at how it's like scooping it up. You know? Everything she eats. Everything she eats them. The sound travels. Does it come out of the upper lip or the bottom of the pipe? Oh, the bottom. Bottom. Yeah, once she gets starts getting the body inside of there, and it's like real fat, like way down her neck, and you might see that pop right out, hang right out there, and it's like a little tube. And that's how she's breathing, yeah. Have you ever been inside of a cave? Say, I know snakes are thick in it. You could do that. Just stick up. And that's why it sounds different. Yeah, if it was... So what the heck? Oh, she's trying to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at the tube sticking out. See the tube? Uh huh. It's big and red. It's pink. Yeah. 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 Do you see it? Uh huh. It's still sticking out. Yeah. 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 Look at it. See it sticking down there? Mom gets conversation in the car. It's still busy. It's covered. She looks like she's trying to not eat it. Well, no. She's trying to. No. She. What's she doing? She's trying to mash it up. God. It's pretty heavy duty, huh? Oh, God, did you stay out of Legos? Oh. How, how, would you, how would you like to be in there with it? Oh, no, no, no way. way. <laughs> Skin peeling off, huh? I'm gonna wait for a while. What the heck? Look at, let's see. That's that. that is that a tube? Yeah. yeah can you see how many from from over here? You can see the hole so down she inside. Can of it. While she's got her mouth full. What's that? What's that sticking out his tongue? No, that's her. That's a tube, it's so she can breathe. What? Can what? you what? see over? There? You see it all, bit? Mm -hmm. You might have to wait till it. Yeah. Is that tube? What tube? Like, that looks like a tongue, kind of? Yeah. That's a tube. That's a tube so yeah, she can so breathe. She can breathe because, she's got because she's got such a big thing in her throat, she can't breathe regular, so she sticks this tube out of her mouth so, so she, she can, can breathe. breathe. Oh, weird. Isn't that That's weird? Huh? Yeah. Aren't you glad you don't have to eat that way? <laughs> yeah, but it feels like that when you, by an accident, when you stop holding your mouth, you're like... Yeah. Oh, my God, did you see her eyelashes? That girl, her, these things were as long as these. Poor Jimmy Swagger, man. Oh, yeah. He's crying. They're like dragging him down to the dirt. He looks like he was crying. He's been crying. Why? Why, why are they doing that? He sinned. What's sin? He can't, they say he can't preach for three, three years? Well, first they said three months. First but they I think said three months. Uh -huh. And now all the other people are saying three months is not enough. Sin is bad. I know sin is bad, but what does it like do to you? Well, it makes him, uh... Makes him lose a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> he was rich, but like, oh, that isn't what's Well, no, well. They take all his money away? God, Gary, she can be a boy. She's got the wing whipped out around her body. She's I know, I know. She'll I, eat it, I, I know she will. I don't know if it's a sin to trespass or anything, but I, I just don't know. Like, Maybe she wants it as a dessert, man. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, you feed it as, do you feed it anything else? Just chickens and well, guinea pigs? Oh, guinea pigs, guinea pigs and stuff, yeah. And rabbits and That's all them? Showing children stuff like that? No. No. They're not that tight. 
she would eat sugar, she would eat Big Macs, so we would just give her Big Macs. <laughs> oh, Chicken she, McNuggets. She, but she would eat those? Or no, it's got to be a live, warm-blooded animal. She wouldn't even know if it was a... What if she gave her a Big Mac? She wouldn't even know what it was. Look she it. Even know. There's a part where there's no feather. Oh, you just ate it. She's having problems getting around that thing. Well, Beth, it's been a while since she ate. She has to, you know, she has to relearn how to eat again, maybe. Maybe you want to help her out? <laughs> maybe you want to give her a spoon. God, it's right. I mean, she's... Yeah, because it looks like she... Look at that. Look at that. Look at her mouth. Look at that thing. Look well, it is kind of. And your dad's name is Hugo, right? Okay, get your money out. Oh, Hugo. Hey, this is Gary. Listen, if you've never, uh, if it's a big deal for the kids being here, uh, we can, uh, you know, shoot them right home. But if you're into seeing this 14-foot uh, python eat a full-grown chicken, she's about a quarter of the way, and it's quite the sight. Yeah, and, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, it doesn't seem to be any problem with the kids, you know, and I didn't know, uh, uh, you know, if you'd be into checking it out. I'm actually videotaping it right now, but because uh, it's been over a year since it's ate, since it's ate last. Yeah, and... Oh, yeah, really. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, it's really pretty wild, you know. And uh, she just shed last night, and you know, normally right after they shed, they're really hungry. And uh, well, like I say, she's about a quarter of the way. And uh, uh, I think when Lisa called, she had just killed it and was just starting. So I think um, I don't know. It may, it may. T I don't know. Maybe another twenty minutes, or it could be maybe a half an hour. She, she actually, uh, you know, she had to kind of roll around it and kind of crunch it down to be able to get it, you know, in her mouth. Because it's a, it's a really pretty big chicken, but she's doing quite the quite the job of it here. But I figured if you know if, if you guys or if you wanted to cruise by, hey, you know, no problem. All right, yeah, it's it's really quite the sight. It really is. It's uh, you know something uh, a snake this big eating uh, eating something this big really is uh, you know kind of wild. All right, if you guys want to cruise by, cruise on over. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye. Is he coming? Yeah. I think you I think yeah. 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 It's on. I think right away. Nothing will distract it now. I don't think so, but well, you you know, if you went in there and started beating on her or something, she'd probably. Uh, I doubt my mom's coming. She'd probably coming. whip her tail up and uh, you know swatch her or something. I doubt if my mom's coming. Warn you, like warn you, like to get out. Yeah, well, no, it, it just, it, it really well, screwed up to do that. Just, see all the teeth? You see the teeth? You see the teeth in the lower jaw? They have they have a whole bunch of teeth all the way around, and they're all real, they're only about that big, but they're all pointed in. You know what I mean? You know how our teeth are pointed up like that? Hers are pointed in, so when she bites on something, you can't pull it out. They're pointed in. Yeah, really. Watch on TV, you A regular, uh... Are you filming this whole time, Gary? Yeah. Where'd you get that picture? Because we're going to get another spot. Then we eat. Pretty cool, huh? Well, should I cut some of this out, or? Cut some of it out. I don't know. I don't know. Should I videotape the whole thing? Would this be too much to... Well, that'd be kind of cool to watch it later, huh? You guys got a VCR? Yeah, we do. Uh, our is it is it VHS or beta? Do you know? It's a VHS. Is it? Uh, well, this is 8 millimeter, but we got beta. I could, I could get a VHS and put it on tape and then give you a copy of this. You know what I mean? See how she's kind of... Wouldn't that be hard for you? Oh, I don't know. Well, you know, sometime. What's this? That's my uh, niece. Check out her. Where's his head at right now? What part about... What's that? The, the pipe, the snake, or the chicken? No, the chicken. Where's his head? Uh, down inside of there. Oh, how far? Oh, I don't know. Well, you can kind of tell, can't you? Look how big her mouth is now. You know what I mean? See, she's she's almost halfway, right? Doesn't look like a sock. <laughs> the sock. <laughs> They'd have to have an optimistic foot. Yeah, that's really a hell of a meal if you haven't eaten for a year. Yeah. Well, your dad said he likes Kentucky Fried Chicken, so I mean, yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, he eats Kentucky Fried Chicken. She would eat. It's got to be a warm-blooded, regular line. They better hurry up if they're coming. She's actually, she's actually coming along pretty good. This is really good, you guys, that she's eating. Yeah, this is real good that she's eating. Yeah. How long 
much it go without eating? Oh. I don't know. They say the bigger they get, the longer they can go. And like I say, she's gone a year. How long have you been recording? Uh, off and on, ever just about, just about since it started. I think she had that just the head in, and I and I and I turned it on. But you didn't get it when it uh, killed the chicken? No, no, we were like I say, we were talking. Yeah. Well, I wasn't. In there for about 15 minutes before she went for it. See, normally how it happens is if she's hungry and it's a definite thing and she smells something she's she's really into, you put it in the cage and I mean she just opens her mouth and slams it. That's why we put safety glass because she could probably break the glass with the force that she'd slam. You know, like we've had her go after chickens and I mean actually slam it where it like cracked the beak and stuff. I mean real intense. You know what I mean? And then throws a coil around it and it's one, two, three. But uh, this time it wasn't. Uh, well, yeah, it wasn't that fast. Yeah, we were a little bit. Ask you about I haven't brought my cat home. Oh yeah, really. Oh yeah, that oh that, that snake could eat a look. Look how look how stretched it is. That snake could could, could eat a cat no problem. Look at it. Just has a little bit to go. Now it's time. Um, Gary here. Do you need any animals to feed it? Yeah, right. Is this the first time you recorded it? Yeah, yeah. I've I've been wanting to get it. Well, I just got this this camera about a year ago. So you know what I mean. I haven't had the chance. I've uh, recorded a lot of times. Look at, look at, look at. Look at that. I mean, that's a that's a full grown chicken. I ain't kidding you. That's your basic full grown. Oh, yeah, legs and all. The quills. Yeah, and then she'll go back and look at the snake. Wow, look at that. Oh, come on, for God's sake. If it ain't Big Macs, we'd give it a Big Mac. That's neat. You should take it to Channel 6. It could be on one of those insect movies. You know what? We were on TV. You were? Yeah. I'll have to show you the tape sometime. We were on Scarborough's Fair. Which uh, Chris Scarborough used to do a thing on Channel Four about you know weird things around town, and we had like thirty some animals like living in a one one bedroom apartment. Yeah, that's like um, it's it's a windpipe too. That when she's got, see, that's how she so breathes. She breathes. Right? Oh, she breathes while and she's eating. And when she eating. has a mouthful of food like that, she just hangs that out so she can breathe while she's oh, eating. That's, that's it neat. Because you and I would try to fit that much food in our mouths wow. and we'd suffocate. Oh, yeah. You know. I was going to ask you about that. That's, that's neat. That's interesting. Wow. Check out his mouth. Look at that. Is, uh, I, mean, I remember 20. <laughs> I remember giving <laughs> those damn chicken feet. Who's telling you the head? What's his name? Her name is Ziggy. Ziggy? Him. Yeah. yeah. Screaming. And Ziggy was laying here. And he ran up in the window. And Gary was back by the goats and the sheep. And he came running out. And, and, and your kitty went flying over by Pete and Wendy's over there. It was, there's been a black cat hanging around. He has no claws. Neither, neither so do all of ours. Yeah, because he's mating right now. He just thinks he's the greatest. There you go. Yeah. That's it. That's your basic... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's do it again in slow motion, huh? No problem. Watch it go down, though. As it starts to move it down. Oh, watch it go down all the way down. Look how she's really stretched there, her scales. Mm -hmm. Look how gorgeous he is. Big cat. He's a big cat. He's been camping up on Mount Lemon. I remember when we had 13 cats? Remember? We have 13 cats one time. They were all running around everywhere. Then one time, a blind man. Oh, one got God. stuck in mom's engine. Sorry, one, one got stuck in my mom's engine. And if something's your favorite cat, she wants to go turn it on. Boom. There went the cat. Yeah, your dad, right? Beth did that one time. Yeah, my aunt was pregnant, or my aunt was at the hospital giving birth, and my uncle was staying at my parents' house. And our cat yeah. got up and laid in the uh, fan belt there, or butt fan, and he started up the car in the morning, and there went the cat. More of oh, say bye. Look at that mouth. Well. She's after eating a meal like that, you must be exhausted. How do you know what it's hungry? She moves around, and she's real, she's real. And see, she's real tame. Ever since we've had her, I mean, I bought her from Gary when he turned 30 years old. Because him and his brother were really into reptiles, and, I, and they always went into the pet shops and admired the boas and the Burmese pythons. And, and I thought when he turned 30, you ought to get something that is, you know, like, different from what you normally get for birthday, not like socks and underwear, you know? <laughs> and so I bought her for Gary, and she was she was only this big around, you know, like 28 inches long, and she was just in a brown, I, I took her home from the store in a brown lunch sack. 
and it was stapled at the top with a card, and Gary's like this with the bag. What's in there? Don't shake it, Gary. Don't shake it. I can imagine him going in and coming out with his birthday gift clamped on his hand, you know? But um, ever since we've had her, all of our friends have handled her. She swims in the pool. She's very used to being handled, so she's got I me. Mean, Does it like this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's from, like, Burma, or, you know, whether... Yeah, you go, I mean, when she's out on the ground, gravity, and, I mean, it takes a lot for her to move around, and she gets in the pool, That's right. Cindy, one whip of her tail, and she's right down, she's swimming really? through the pool. Oh, yeah, it's like the Loch Ness Monster. It's does, it, great. does the chlorine bother it? Nope. No? And yeah. we asked right. the vet about it before that, because we were not we were concerned whether we should put her in, and he says, well, does the chlorine hurt your skin? Does it affect your skin? And we're like, yeah, well, yeah, it makes you a little dry, you know? And he says, well, yeah, so don't put her in a lot, and don't put her in, since she's a uh, cold blood, a reptile, cold blooded animal, she can't generate her own heat plus she can't dissipate heat i mean when you and i get hot we sweat and they can't sweat so we uh -huh. couldn't put her out at, at noon uh -huh. you know where she'd get sunburned because it fryer so usually when we put her in the pool it's like four or five o'clock in the evening when the sun's down and we should just push that lump right down there yeah we'll have to get, have you guys over and go swimming this summer yeah for sure ride the snake <laughs> yeah <laughs> ride the snake <laughs> Is she more partial to you than she is to other people? No. There should be one person for every four feet. Every three foot. Or every three feet. And this front glass here is in a trap that slides right up. So we don't even try to call both of them. And that's so when snakes mate, they wrap around each other. The, the so Desert Museum had just gotten some. wrapped, you know, but when he looked, when he probed her, he says, oh, this is a female. He said, this is really fantastic for you guys, because usually the breeders hang on to the females. Uh, but I'm not into breeding snakes. But when we had this fella come over last year, well, it was it was last summer. He wanted to get I had called because, like I say, I was I told Gary I'm tired of not having a dining room area, and I wanted to get rid of her so I could get a table in here. And you know, when company comes from back east, we have a table to sit at. I mean, the bar stools are fine for Gary and I, but when you get more than the two of us. And um, I called Dr. Jarko, and he says, "Well, call John Martin." And here is a guy who's uh, going through his graduate work at the U of A in psychology, and he raises these things. And his goal is to get an albino. And he's got albino king snakes. He has raised albino king snakes, where he's just made it the lightest version of every one that he's got. And he came out here when I when I, I left a message on his recorder, and he called. And Gary 